almost my entire career mm-hmm. because I started off in radio right. on, on Groove FM and that was back in the day. Right. And so then became a music journalist and worked for Express for three years. Brilliant. And so I've always been in that music scene and then I yep. went into marketing and so kind of took a break and then 2015 came back onto the scene and um, started doing the couch as a music presenter for Fred and have been there yeah. ever since. Yeah. Um, and then as DL Social was kind of growing, I was also like, hey, I can talk music and pop culture as well. And mm. this year seems to be the year that people have kind Take of us. Gone, we finally figured out what mm. you can yeah. do. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a while as well to figure out I what think you also want. in the last – Last 18 months to two years, I've kind of come out of my shell and I've gone from just being corporate to actually showcasing me, which is this diva persona that I have. Yes. That's great. And so with I that, it. I can bring in yeah. The, yeah. the reality television <laughs> and I can bring in all these other things and the pop culture and the music and it kind of fits because then yeah. it, mo- it moves Stop. into yeah. the DL social, the social media Brilliant. marketing side of things. Brilliant. So, yeah, so there's a few things there that I can I can do, but it's when you think you're not on camera. Um, so welcome to the podcast, Demelza Leonard. Have I said it right? Yeah. Beautiful. Um, so the information I have on you is that you're a successful marketing and social media consultancy owner by day and a music and pop culture commentator by night. So I actually didn't know that you were involved in social media. Um, So can you give us a little bit of background on both of those sorts of roles that you play? Yeah, yeah. so I think the best thing to do is start back from the beginning, back from the (laughs) olden days. When I was younger, I actually wanted to be um, a news journalist and from there kind of realised that it was a little bit too heavy uh, for my personality as as well. So. From that then decided I want to be a Channel V VJ because mm. I loved music. Mm. I grew up, my uncle was a DJ. Oh, I God. used to sing. My dad was a singer back in oh, India. Really? So I had all of this like music knowledge that just was thrown at me and I I had very strict parents. So my Saturday nights weren't socialising. My Saturday oh, nights yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> sitting at home writing out Take 40 Australia and the wow. list. And You're bringing back great right Oh, my God. <laughs> Take 40. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so I kind of had a lot I used to do that. So my music knowledge, particularly when it comes to the 90s, is just oh, like Amazing. I surprise myself sometimes. And from there decided to study media at mm. uni. I got into WAPA for broadcasting when that was nice. available as a, a undergrad course um didn't finish it but from there was able to get into um radio so I was at Groove FM then I became club music editor at Express so that was the music and then I decided I wanted to jump the fence into marketing I really liked what I was seeing um and started working in shopping centers and then from shopping center marketing I decided it was time to kind of Span my wings and uh, social media was starting to really, like Instagram was really yes. starting to take off in around yeah. 2014, 2015. Yeah. And so set up my own business, DL Social, in 2015 and then just continued yeah, to go and grow and grow. And uh, this year kind of started focusing more on that music pop culture side of things yeah. and bringing out the inner diva. Yeah, mm. that's but yeah. it's really yeah. good because you've stayed really authentic. You know, you knew that you know, that sort of wasn't for you, the boring side of things. And so you stayed authentic to yourself and, yeah, that's yeah. really good because I've seen you mainly, I saw you on the couch. So yeah. I only saw you, that was the first time I sort of saw you and, of course, doing the little interviews at the yeah. movie yeah. premieres yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. Alexander yeah. yeah. stuff. <laughs> It's like you can't go a day without <laughs> saying his full name. <laughs> you just can't. I don't know why. What up, Alexander? <laughs> what up? <laughs> yeah, so that's good. Well, we're here today to talk about the Vanderpump Rules, the show. Yes. It's coming to an end. Now, also, I want to clarify with you. We're in the reunion stage of that show. Is mm-hmm. there a third reunion? There is. Oh, yes. Phew, thank goodness. There is one more. All right. So I'm a huge episode. fan and I know you're a huge fan because we've <laughs> slid into each other's DMs about <laughs> Vanderpump Rules. Um, my co-host, mm. however, mm. is 
doesn't know anything about the show and has never never heard of it, never watched it. So, but that's okay mm. because it means that anyone who hasn't <laughs> heard can learn mm. with you, Tracy. That's why that's we right. love it. Exactly. What it is, and I feel like there's a lot of takeaway in real life from everything from going on as well. So I don't think that you're pigeonholed if you don't watch the show. I think it's because I thought it was a reality TV show. It was fake. Well, you know, I'm comparing it to the Kardashians where they were all just actors as such. It wasn't a real life yeah. time. Yeah. So yeah. for me it was like, oh, no, I'm not, I'm not doing She's it. She's thinking it was scripted. Yeah. 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 So I guess now with the two of you here, can you just give us, as me, someone that doesn't, a snippet? Take me back right. to where we yeah, from where the start and up to now. I know, Demel's got such a good memory. She's going to go, well, back in 2000 and like Well, I, I was very much very similar to okay. you. Um, for me, reality television shows that I wa- was watching were Geordie Shaw, yeah. uh, yes. Jersey Shaw. Yes. Yeah. Uh, obviously the Kardashians. Yeah. So that was kind of where my reality TV stopped. And then just by chance, one day late at night, I was like scrolling and I came across the Housewives. Mm-hmm. And so Beverly Hills and I think it was New Jersey that I was watching at okay. that stage. Okay. And went to America and on the plane they had Vanderpump Rules and I'd seen the ads for it and I was like, oh, I, I, like this is just going to annoy another, me. Yep. I'm, it's another one. Mm-hmm. I, I don't, I'm not going to watch it. But on that plane I started watching and the characters that I think what makes it work really well is that, yes, it's based upon the people who work in the bar that's owned by one of the Real Mm -hmm. Housewives. So it is a spinoff of Beverly Mm -hmm. Hills, Mm -hmm. uh, Lisa Vanderpump. But they were so intertwined within their own friendship group within each other. So you had the original cast members. You had Stacey and Jax, and then Jax had an affair with Kristen, who was one of Stacey's best friends. Right, Uh, right. Tom Sandoval, who you're going to hear a lot of coming up. (laughs) Was with Kristen at the time, mm-hmm. so you really had this this intertwining of relationships, and then them trying to succeed in their own career. Yep. Because a lot of them were actors or wanting to be, to be. actors okay. or models, yep. and this was their job to help them kind of pave the way in between. So, yes. how far back are we going? Like, when did like, this start? It's like two thousand and twelve, two thousand. Right. Wow. This is the tenth season, so I would right. say twenty twelve, twenty thirteen. Okay. Okay. Um, so it has been going for mm. quite some time, and then obviously you've had characters or cast members introduced that then um, James Kennedy, who's one of the DJs um, and is related to this whole triangle mess. Okay. Of the okay. Scandal at the moment. He came in because he was meant to be. Kristen uh, and Tom's roommate, right? To which Kristen broke up with Tom and started dating James Kennedy, and then that's how he came in on the show. And then right. Lala got introduced, and yeah, and oh. it just kept going and going. And you had Tom and Katie, the other Tom. There's two Tom. Two Toms, okay. So it really does <laughs> make it. It really makes it very no part of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so you had this intertwining, and I think that's what made it really interesting because those characters were also. I keep saying characters because I yeah. feel like yes. they do bring an element of character to to the show. To the show. Mm-hmm. They were just very strong personalities. Mm-hmm. You had Stacy, who's no longer on the show, who was proclaiming that she is the devil, so don't you forget it. <laughs> and if you crossed her path, she was out. almost like Blair Waldorf. Yeah, okay. Like gossip girl. okay. Yeah. That's what I felt like. She was happy to manipulate. She was happy to scheme to try and be the better. Right. And she got called out on yeah. a lot of times okay. on her behaviour as well. Mm. Jax was... The Chuck Bass, well yeah. and truly. Also an absolute he was moron cheeky, sometimes. Uh, but he a was, cheater, yeah, player. Yeah. Pretty much, but he told it like it yeah. was and it rubbed a lot of people okay. the wrong way. And then you had your Toms, your two Toms, mm-hmm. which were pretty much your lonely boy. And, and these are guys, these two Toms are best friends. Yes, they're best yeah. friends. Okay. They're in business together. Okay. They run two bar. well, they're a part of two bars, one with Lisa Vanderpump as one of their partners, and then they've created their own bar, which has just launched a, like a few yeah. months before, before this, this whole scandal So happened. then when yeah. we were in LA, 
Where did we go, Bernadette? Mm. Where did you take me? Because oh then I knew nothing. We went to LA yeah. back in, two, well, two just thousand. before COVID hit. Yeah. And um, we were, you know, living it up, walking past Chanel, da, da, da. And then I was like, oh, my God. Let's go to Villa Blanca. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. And I'm taking Tracy there. We had beautiful we took our daughters. We yep. had a beautiful lunch. Yep. Taking photos. I'm looking at the waiters, the waitresses. Oh my God. No, nah, we didn't I don't no recognize one. anyone. And I'm telling Tracy and she's going, mm. I don't even know what you're talking no. about. No. Where are we? Yeah. Yeah. She didn't appreciate <laughs> that that was a thing. And then exactly. I, think, I think during COVID it actually closed down Villa Blanca. Yes. yes. Yeah. But then we went to another bar. We went to a bar. Um I want to say it, was, did. it wasn't pump. Tom Tom? It could have been oh, Tom Tom's. I yeah. don't know. Was it I think like it that been... steampunk? Yes. Kind of it yes. Very, it yeah. Been Tom Tom. And well, that's one of the bars that these guys are a part of. But then who did we have a oh, photo gosh. with? Oh, gosh. We had a photo with this guy and he was only in for You said it was very season. short. Yeah. It was one very short. Yeah, one of the managers, yeah, with the dark yeah. hair. Um, so we don't even need to say much. You know exactly like, what yeah, you're talking about. Thank <laughs> goodness, because I am terrible with dates, I am names. A story. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And so we did. Yeah, we did have that little all right. photo. All right. I have to pop it in here somewhere. But um, okay. So now lovely. I'm getting an idea. Lovely. I have to have a selfie. But yeah. So you have been a part of it I silently. Have. Just but. Yeah. On yeah. the on the side sidelines uh, <laughs> of it all. So I think. It's really the storylines that come off and, and what you'll see with this scandal is every single day there was something new that would you literally your jaw would just drop oh, no. because you couldn't believe someone had either said it, done it, thought they could get away with it. Right. And it really became this uh, almost like a soapy yeah. within real life and like you could not make some of the things that are happening right up. right um but i also feel like people who become so invested in these people over mm. the years social media does have a lot to play mm. with that with mm. tiktok and instagram and the cast i think also jump on these their lives and their stories and give you insight and yeah, yeah. take business opportunities that you kind of want to see them succeed okay. at the same time okay. because you have followed their journey uh, and yeah. some of the things you're willing to forget what they've done, but some. <laughs> so I know, where are we at now? Because then? at some point, every member in that in that cast has cheated. Apart or from Katie, apart from Katie, or yeah. the golden but child. cheated within the group. With oh, or we're talking outsiders yeah. as well. Outsiders. <laughs> in the group. We extend in the yeah. uh, in the group. But those cast members are no longer there. Right. So they've left. Um, a few of them were asked to leave around um, Black Lives Matter because they had done a few oh, problematic, yes. made a few That's problematic right. comments. Right. Done a few things that Same they have thing. all said in hindsight they're mortified that they had done it, they yep. were young, they were stupid, yep. they yep. were entitled. Yep. Um, but I think now, yeah, it's, it's just crazy the stuff that has come about i just want to read this meme that um you brought to my attention the other day <laughs> this is how to explain the scandal to non-pump rules watching people like Me. tracy <laughs> imagine this is the cast of friends imagine that chandler was sleeping with rachel while he was married to monica mm -hmm. for seven months joey knew for most of that time and right. never told monica but still right. acted yeah. like nothing was wrong to her face. Right. So does that clarify yes. a little yeah. bit? Yes. Of, okay. Yeah. This is and the... also if Joey made out mm -hmm. with Rachel oh, at the yes. same time right. that she yeah. was having the affair with Chandler. Oh my god, that was very right. strange because they were away, weren't they? They were in um, Cancun for yes. Sheena, who's another cast member, mm -hmm. best friends to the girl that has been cheated on. Yeah. Um, so can you tell me there. why this cheating scandal has blown out versus you were saying that there's been some sort of cheating in between? How is this one or why is this one I so big? I think it's because of the deception. Mm -hmm. I think it's also because they were filming. So tell me about, so, sorry, who's the scandal between? So you have Tom Sandoval. Yes. And Raquel. Mm. So Raquel okay. Levis mm -hmm. or Rachel, as she, which is her real oh, name. Oh, that's another and thing I like. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Okay, okay. So they were having a seven-month affair behind everyone's 
back. Mm. What makes this even worse about the Sinclair is not only are they in the same friends group, but Tom has been in a nine-year relationship, business partner, owns a million, multi-million dollar home with Ariana, mm-hmm. his girlfriend of nine years. Nine years. Rachel or Raquel mm-hmm. has was going to get married. She was the fiance of DJ James Kennedy, so mm-hmm. this guy that I had mentioned mm-hmm. earlier. Mm-hmm who's also meant to be very close friends with Tom, to the point that Tom paid for half of the engagement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's such a convoluted web. Like, right. This was all going on while cameras were filming. Some of the cast were starting to get suspicious, Mm -hmm. but Ariana or Ariana shut it down and said, no, I trust her, I trust my boyfriend implicitly. There's nothing going on. They're just like everyone's just, just very, very close. friendly. Mm-hmm. Um, these guys had been seen out dancing at 1 a.m. in the morning. There had just been a lot of things. Too many little um, mess ups Where on some there. of the others little who hot weren't tub as action. close. Yeah, <laughs> little yeah. hot tub. Right. And a lot of stories that just weren't adding up, not yeah. to mention this girl has then made out and pursued Tom Schwartz. Which is the friend of the Tom. Friend mm-hmm. Who is also married to Katie, yeah, one of the other girls in the group, or was married. They've just divorced. Okay, mm. so this girl mm-hmm. has basically not had a little bit in every pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. then the fact that it was Tom Sandoval the whole time behind right. everyone's yeah. back. Tom was starting to become this very, I think once Jax left really, he kind of saw himself as the number one guy yeah, right. and started to get this ego, become right. a lot more narcissistic than we had ever seen him be. So I think he was always heading down that villain path and this for a lot of viewers, for a lot of people on TikTok who have now seen and then become fans of the show, this is what why people are just so anti Tom. Yep, they're so invested yep. in what's happening. Yep. Um, so what's coming back? Where, where are they coming back? Like, where is the situation now? How did it come out? So Ariana was at Tom Tom mm-hmm. when Tom's like cover band, band. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. cover band, yeah. um, <laughs> was the performing, band. Mm-hmm. and his phone had fallen. So someone had given her phone. Uh, his he's going to, to her, her. Mm-hmm. Um, and she knew that he was just he something was up but she thought it was more mental like right. she there was a lot of conversations that people thought that he was going through a bit of a midlife crisis right. he had hit 40 people had nothing seen a wrong bit with being 40 though is there right but so there were little there were little things that she was you know, mm. and to the point that they trusted each other, mm. they had each other's passwords. Mm. Like this yeah, is how right. much of a relationship they were. Right. So she ran into the phone to just have a look and there was a explicit video that he had screen recorded of a FaceTime, FaceTime of the two of them. Yeah, wow. And that's when she discovered it. Um, obviously they left. She was – she then she called – Rachel Raquel and mm-hmm. was like, you're meant to be my best friend. Mm-hmm. Without telling Tom that she knew? No, Tom knew at that stage. Uh, she's then called and she's like, yeah. I need to know everything. What was happening was Rachel was in New York after just having done a Watch What Happens Live, which is a they get cast members from TV shows to come on and watch after a, a Bravo show has aired, they give their takes right. on that episode. Yep, yep. So you had Sheena, who's one of the girls in Vanderpump Rules, with Raquel in New York. They're also very good friends mm. at the time. And so Sheena's gone, <laughs> what's going on to Raquel? And Raquel's response was, I'm not a very good actor, so don't know. <laughs> was basically, oh, yeah, I've been having seven months of with Sandoval. Yeah, apparently she said it. Very not no while remorse. Ariana is like almost ready to vomit. Yeah, um, and are they yeah. are they sure it's only seven months? Like what? Well, we, this is what we we're not sure. There's a bit of a the revelation. The night after the Mondrian. The night after the she just said keep it. Hearing that. She said it as well in this most recent yeah. episode uh, yeah. reunion. She said it was Mondrian that okay. some, that 
was when started it all it kind of started, but that they had been very close and he had always been very attentive to her. Sheena is saying that she, that Raquel had said he had tried to make a move on her in April at Coachella. So this would be several months prior, prior to the seven months to the seven month mm. affair. So, and, and basically saying they had been in an open relationship, Ariana and him were in an open relationship and, that was not correct that came out in the reunion I think it was the last episode it came out and he was like no no like right it's bs it's bs so it ended so the show ended and now they're doing reunions well the show the season ended Mm -hmm. and everything was kind of fine Mm -hmm. like no one knew about this affair there were there were you could see cast members like Katie like Lala were suspicious right but nothing that people had concrete proof that something I find this the most interesting bit then March it was the March long weekend yeah I remember it so it's live you're telling me it's it's live so from when it happened it's recorded so this was recorded summer last year in the US so this is we're going back I think they six they do behind. June to September or October. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, October yeah. because um, to, uh, Schwartz and Sandy's yeah. hadn't been the bar. Yeah, they, the they hadn't opened. They were yeah. still stuffing around with that, and they opened in November. So in March, mm-hmm. so it was March first mm-hmm. that the phone and Instant. the recording was discovered. Okay. Ariana was the one that called production and said. This is what's happened. Because Tom said to Ariana, listen, do you want to just keep this under wraps, deal with yep. it the way we've dealt with everything else, which made me think how this has many been going on too long. known and accepted? Mm. It kind of made she, me. So she's purpose, so she purposely called production. She texted everyone because she said, you are not silencing me. Yeah. You are not having this narrative your way. I feel like he'd she'd been silenced. Yeah, I was just gonna say she, she did. Um, she actually makes a comment. Spoiler alert! No, 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 spoiler <laughs> alert! I need it. So they're in the extended version. So this is not in the the version on Foxtel. In the extended Hey You version, she says to Sandoval, "When people have said something that you think is wrong, you, you have to told say. your tactic." Is to talk over them to to make them stop talking, and she's outed him on that. And he's like, "No, that's your." He gets really aggressive over it, um, calls her a mofo, um, basically. Yeah. To the point that Lisa Vanderpump's like, "Did you just call her?" Oh and like, my goodness! She basically lays out all of his tactics, mm. and he's like, "I never did this, and I never did that." And Katie's like, "Oh my gosh, you are crazy!" And he's like, "You call me dumb," and she's like, "I've never called you dumb. I called you dumb today mm. because <laughs> because of what you've done." Are dumb. Yeah, and yeah. Rightfully so. so Ariana just goes at him yeah. on this particular situation. Yep. Um, but with that, it really does show so many narcissistic tendencies. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what adds to mm. this. He's admitted to it, but it's Ariana's fault that she wouldn't sleep with him. Oh. oh. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's Ariana's fault that she. They never had any sex in the relationship. No. Yeah. No, but then. They did in January. Oh, right. And so this side chick, Raquel, has been watching the reunion kind of unfold Mm -hmm. Mm. and this is where she's kind of gone, hold on, on but you didn't tell. She does actually question him in this new episode. Oh, wow. Uh, And he can't look her in the eye and spins the most BS excuse of, oh, well, you know, she used to tell me that uh, uh, my – Outfits, you know, she used to give me the, the like, this ego looks good boost, and this goes kind of, that. Yeah. And now she's just like, oh, wear whatever you want, you look good. And he's like, I just, like, it was stuff like that. And I'm just sitting yeah, there. Yeah, it's so like, juvenile. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> to go and have a seven month of yeah, like, what I know. And so, yeah. who was involved in the reunion? How far back are we going for the so reunion? So, the reunion was taped uh, three weeks after all this revelation. Right. Okay. Uh, so, they picked up cameras for one special episode. Mm-hmm. That then became the new season finale. Right. And then they went into the reunion three weeks, two or three weeks later. Later, okay. Um, so the reunions are always filmed months after they finish wrap, mm-hmm. yeah. wrapping and that the season is halfway through being aired 
right on, but that's on um, in the networks. What I wanted to say, like, with because for all the people who thought that it might be scripted, mm. you know, because they'd already finished filming and the affair came out after the filming had finished, I heard that they had to grab um, emergency crews from Housewives yeah, yeah. to actually come and put Be the there. pieces back yeah, together for us to understand what had Beverly happened. Beverly Hills, um, because obviously they're all contracted mm. per season. Yeah. So Beverly Hills was in filming and in production at that time. So they've pretty much gone, we need cameras, we need crew, we need producers. Wow. Yeah. Um, because the... The Vanderpump ones were there. So, yeah. Right. That is crazy. And that, I think, is in a very roundabout way why it's so massive. And then with TikTok and people just putting their comments and yep. yeah. um, bits of the show and yep. then other people watching that and going, are you serious? Like, uh, yeah, yeah. How is that yeah. even okay? Yeah. Or, or are you kidding me? Um, You know, and then you've got these two best friends, you know, guys. One's been told don't date anyone within the friendship group and he goes and kisses not only one someone from the friendship group Tom but sure. someone who was a fiance of right one but of these mates. weren't married so, tom wasn't married though was tom he? was married to Katie. separated oh yeah, yeah. okay so, okay yeah. separated in i don't know if their divorce is i don't i don't final. haven't heard their divorce is final but i also don't understand why katie sort of well i understand why she said within the the group of friends but she was really invested on who he was with, whereas she was sleeping with other people yeah. and he wasn't really checking up on her. I think from her perspective, I think it was years of just being yeah. tormented and hurt by yeah. him. Like yeah. Tom Schwartz comes across as a goofy. Yeah, the lovable goofy oh, character who just her. always sits like, on the fence because he, yeah. he doesn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Right. Yeah. Uh, but then I thought it was very interesting in the reunion at the start, Andy Cohen, who is one of the big honchos of Bravo uh, and the host of the reunion, had, and he's the one who dubbed it all Scandable. It was his, yeah. even he was just in shock and he's come up on his live <laughs> TikTok and he's like, can you believe this scandal? And everyone just wow. jumped That's on it. it. That's like, the name. Okay. And he's gone on and he's like, was Tom Schwartz silent? Was he silent or silenced? Yeah. yeah. Because a lot of people, including Katie, one of the reasons why Katie called for the divorce was because Tom Schwartz would always side with Tom Sandoval. Right. And Tom Sandoval used to treat Katie Horrifically, oh, yeah. like as someone who this is your best friend's wife, yeah, you not talk no. to her the way that yeah. you talk, and all she wanted to do was help. Yeah, sometimes right. she'd come across a bit. Yeah, yeah but we all do at but, that stage, don't we? I mean, yeah. right? So, yeah. So with Schwartz, he's this goofy character. He actually pulls out some Xanax when Raquel's coming up, and he like just pulls these pills out of the pocket. Like, what <laughs> what's going doing? on? And he's like, <laughs> he's like I, I, I just Can't need do to it. calm down, and they're like. What? <laughs> like, the it, amount of anxiety they must go through sitting there waiting for the cameras to roll in that in that reunion would just be unbelievable because I, I've only watched reunion number one and the way that started and as soon as Tom Sandoval opened his mouth, all the girls were so aggressive they wouldn't let him speak. Like I felt like I was watching a modern-day stoning, like with words. Like wow. it was unbelievable. Look, I did start to kind of go, okay, it's he's, enough. he's made like, a mistake. Like I get that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Until this episode oh, really? just aired and some of the things and the comments he was making, he said, so they obviously this episode isn't as great as mm -hmm. compared to some of the other episodes of late, including the last reunion. Mm -hmm. But what I found, this one show went through other people's stories. Right. So you had Lala and what she yeah. was going through. <clears throat> so um, Lala was married to Randall Emmett, uh, or not married, um, long-term de facto, mm -hmm. um, engaged, uh, had, had a had baby, a little, little girl yeah. um, with Randall Emmett, who is – uh, a producer in Hollywood mm -hmm. who's going through his own scan, very Harvey Weinstein-esque oh, goodness. scandal at the moment. Goodness. Um, she discovered he was cheating on her. Um, she has now become very public about that relationship right. um, and all the allegations uh, that she has 
been told and there's an LA Times doco on it. Oh, and it goodness. It's, it's a lot. Mm. Um, so they were talking to her about her journey and what she was going through. Um, and she made she she was talking and Sandoval come and said a few things and she's lashed out at him and was like, no, this is narcissistic behaviour. And he turned around and said, you only pulled your IUD out when Stasi got pregnant. Oh. So because there was four of them yep. all had babies at the same time. Right. Oh, what? And oh she God. she's actually now come up on social media. She didn't hear that comment. Oh. And she's like, if I had heard that comment, they would have had to have restrained me. She was like, wow. you do not talk about my daughter. Like my daughter, regardless of what happened, was made out of love. Oh. You know, she's yeah. like, she was she was brought into this world and she's the best thing that could have ever happen to yeah. me. And he that's the Turned. type of commentary. Yeah, right. And apparently she said he says even worse. And even just what he says to Ariana when they were going back and forth. And um they asked him what he thought of Sheena mm. uh punching Oh yes allegedly allegedly punching, punching Raquel. Uh, Raquel. So when Sheena and Raquel found out in New York, like when that so they, were phone together, call, yeah. they were together, yeah. Yeah. Sheena's grabbed her phone and thrown it. Uh, however, she's pushed her or she's told her to get out of the way because from Sheena's story, she's grabbed her hand and so she's reacted mm-hmm. and gone, get, get out of mm-hmm. my way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Raquel has said that Sheena's punched her and put a restraining order against her. Oh, my goodness. Which meant that the two of them had to be 100 yards, yards from away. each other mm-hmm. during this reunion. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So whilst this part of the reunion it's is happening, Raquel's in a trailer oh, in the car park over the road 100 yards away because Sheena is in, in the studio doing her part. Then Sheena has to go for a drive around the block when they bring Raquel, Raquel in. And then Sheena's watching in the trailer it's and they're not crazy. allowed to interact, nothing. So, so who's getting more function. of the attack? Who's the centre of attention when it comes to the Tom attack? Is- at the moment, okay. Raquel is getting it, but from what I'm starting to see, I honestly think he was stringing her along. Oh, yeah. I think there were things he was telling her. The way that, I, and I think yeah. the penny was starting to drop mm. during the reunion when she was watching because they were feeding what was happening in studio. In, yep. This reunion was five hours of taping. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's and so wow. you actually see them break for lunch and every single one of them gets up and goes, oh, my gosh, oh my back. And oh, my like, goodness. <laughs> like, and they're stretching their backs oh and, like, gosh. some of them have gone into, like, more comfortable shoes. So you're saying the reunion, there was a second. Is that because it's? There's three episodes. Three episodes. Yeah, yeah. So right. out of that five hours, they've made three, three. episodes. Right. So Bravo and Foxtel mm-hmm. uh, or Rena on Foxtel are airing what we would normally see. But because there's so much extra Drama, that then, was going yeah. on, Hey You and Peacock in the US are showing the extended version. So they, oh called, they called it Just the pumped up edition. Wow. And it's 10 minutes of additional information. But I'm finding the 10 minutes of additional information is actually really? pretty solid. Wow. It's, it's stuff that you would miss and it's oh. it's very character Showing. Yes, yeah, um, revealing. Pat- particularly with Tom in this instance, there is meant to be a massive rev- revelation in the third I'm, episode. I'm really, we've got a lot of guesses going as to what yeah, that could be. I, Have you got predictions? I, <laughs> I'm i psyching myself up for it to not be massive. Oh, yeah. Um, I saw yeah. one come up today that Tom did end up sleeping, like the other Tom, so the Schwartz. Okay, yes. Ended up, like was he sleeping? Oh, like did he sleep cool. with her? Um, because what they're saying is they don't. So the cast don't get the episodes until a couple of days or a day before it airs. Right. The reason being is they're trying to stop any leaks Just in case. happening because yeah. the finale trailer got leaked mm. three weeks ahead. Okay. Oh, okay. This, this is how hot it is. Okay. And this has been going since March and people are still yeah. talking about it. And then it. once the reunions have aired. I don't know what anyone's what going to do with their lives. Yeah. <laughs> but where are you guys I'm going to be so bored. We're going to have to find another show. I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, <laughs> okay. I, I, you know, I'm going to I'm going to be doing Selling Sunset for sure, yeah, for sure. Yeah, Selling Sunset. But it's really not. Atlanta's due back. 
Beverly Hills. Is yes, I'll have to but do what can keep the house to this franchise? sort of. I don't know, and I don't know from the show perspective. Yeah. It's it's going to be who signs back on because yes. they don't want the cast to sign anything or they're not sending contracts until the cast see this third yep. one because yep. there is something that is said or revealed yeah. that they said could make or break why people sign on the dotted line. So Do all the – sorry, I was going to say the personal life. Mm. You said there's bars and restaurants or whatever. Have, have they – are they still open? Yeah. So Schwartz and Sandy's are still running. Yeah. Girls. So Katie and Ariana. So the Tom's exes. Yes. Were in business together yes. towards the end of the show, uh, the the season, and so they've created a sandwich shop called right. Something About Her, and that shop on TikTok is looking very close to opening. They actually say in the reunion they were looking at end of May. It's looking like it's going to be a June, but wow. people are actually going up to the shop and taking TikToks and social supporting media it. and supporting <clears throat> it showing people where they're at with like oh my gosh like look it's almost here yeah that opening day is going to have a line down the road yeah i know i know and that was the beautiful thing like these girls have taken advice from people mm-hmm. they made really good decisions mm-hmm. they when this whole scandal dropped people were like can we get something about her merchandise like we'd love to support and so they put merchandise they made 200k oh, which has now gone back into their into their, their shop, sandwich their shop business yeah. to help get it going yeah right so they don't have to deal with you know they, they might have investors but they're really more something. in control meanwhile these two buffoons as, yeah, as exactly. lava likes to call it <laughs> yeah. Didn't want help from anyone. One, like this Sandoval guy has taken 200K from his mum's retirement. Oh, no. He, they're like millions of dollars in debt. Or like it wouldn't surprise me if Ariana, whatever they're like, like being the house is like, is the house involved in that? Like is she now? Yeah. I didn't. There's so much because this guy was just too narcissistic. I just felt bad for the people who have supported the Toms around mm. them, you yeah. know, like the parents or whatever that, mm. you know. Who well, yeah, they've admitted house. to it. Are we at the stage where they've gone, yep, yeah, we No. Right. No, this Tom guy is just refusing. And you see in this episode where he has the breakdown. So during the reunion filming, he got he was starting to yell at the camera crew and producers and saying, I don't want to film anymore when oh, they were dear. having their break. Yeah. yeah. But the producer was like, You know that if two castmates um, members are together at the same time, we have to film. Yeah. Like that's, that's what we have to yeah. do. Like, I just want to talk to her without the cameras. And this was too much. Oh, so he wants to school her, maybe. Yeah, and that's yeah. what Ariana was saying, like, you're trying to coach her, you're trying yeah, to coach her. Yeah. But Raquel in the one on one does say that they have been talking about the reunion. A lot, right? So he was probably he coaching, was, yeah. Her. Even in a way that maybe she didn't realize she was being coached. Yes, this is very clever, like because that. now it's all starting to come out that this is this is how he sees. And you just see him when things aren't going his way. He just yeah. snaps, yeah, yeah like and a tries to bring up the past. Yeah. yeah. But how did you feel about the girls' reactions in the first reunion towards Lisa Vanderpump? I was a little bit like, you know, when they snapped at her. I think I think Lisa is mum to all of them, mm. and I think she's she's trying to protect Tom, everybody, but she's trying to protect everyone exactly. Yeah. I don't think like whilst yes, she shouldn't be defending yeah. his actions because his actions have been mm-hmm. appalling. Yeah, yeah. I think she's also like at the end of the day as well. He's one of her business partners. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's you know he is part of her business as well. She does make a comment though, where she was like, "If, if yeah, I stay business partners." So I think she's also monitoring this yeah, situation it, from a business perspective. And also, but they, she said, "These are my children." These yeah, are, I've seen them. For, you know, Tom's worked for her for fifteen years, yeah. and but I just Andy, Andy was saying he was actually shaking. Yeah, as well. I just so. didn't like the comment. Was it Lala or no Ariana? If you know what's good for you, to yes. Lisa Vanderpump. Yeah, but then Ariana did back that up and say, in terms of um, what did she say? Yeah. She said she said um, from a business perspective. Yeah, oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So she quickly corrected. She herself. did correct herself. <laughs> I was like, oh. so do you think the business is going to be better now because of all this that's happening? I think people will still go to Tom Tom mm-hmm. because it's still attached to Lisa. Okay. Uh, 
I believe Schwartz is still doing appearances at both Sandys and Schwartz and Sandys. And as Jax was saying, like Schwartz is still friends with both. a lot of them. Mm. Yeah. He's not friends with Ariana and mm. Sheena's pretty much if Ariana doesn't want you, I don't but doesn't want you. But do you think it's fair to say to your friends, right, I've broken up with him, you cannot have anything to, to do, do with him anymore? I think it's <sighs> – I think there's a lot of anger. Yeah, there's a lot Ariana's of anger. Part. And also when you look at past episodes when Ariana gets angry, this is how she lashes out. Like mm. she does get very like black and white. Yeah. It's this way. So can you see the way. sides? Can you see from the reunion she there was are sides? Flip a table in that last episode. Wow. Oh, you should see her in this. Oh, really? This episode she comes for him. Oh, she oh, wow. lays oh, it gosh. out. But she's literally like everything that he has said to her, she's airing. And he actually says, oh, you never let us show our um, how, like our private life on the show. And she's like, that's really weird because, and this is another part in the extended. Hmm. She's like, I spoke about my mental health issues. I spoke about my intimacy issues. I've spoken about um, uh, her little tryst with Lala in the back seat of the car. Oh, like, yeah. You know, it's like I spoke about that. Like we've spoken about my lady bit. Like what? What are you? What are you actually saying mm. that I'm not airing my private? Like my private life is fully on show. And to be fair, he's the one that outed her as bi on the show as well. Yeah, so it's true. Otherwise, we never would have known. No. And Tracy doesn't know about this little thing no. that happened in the back seat. But yeah. I was like. Well, I don't think she ever wanted that aired. No, no. So, little so lady, Lala, lady action. Lala oh, and Ariana got very drunk and had some fun. Mm, a little backseat back seat fun. Tom was in the <laughs> driving. So, would it, as a viewer, would you have seen any issues that this was going to be like a problem between the two of them being nine years together? There's little issues. I think everyone wanted her to not be with him because they were starting to see this, like, yeah. side to him. Mm. Um, like, put it this way, she asked him for quality time and her yeah. idea of quality time <laughs> was, you know, chilling and watching Love Island. Yeah. Yeah. And his idea of quality time was skydiving and, oh, and, why don't and we skinny go skydiving? dipping on shrooms. So. Yeah. And she said, by the way, I did actually go yeah, skydiving. That. So what more do you want? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so, all right, yeah. so between the two of you then, <laughs> whose side are you taking? Ariana's, definitely. Look, and can I just say I was never a fan of Ariana mm. or Katie. I really wasn't. Katie, yeah, Katie I've never been I've a huge never fan been a fan, but when I watched Reunion 1, I was kind of like get, feeling very vulnerable for Tom and I know and it's not condone, like not mm. to be condoned mm. his behaviour at all, but I just felt how much can one person take being attacked mm. so much and, and he five genuinely hours was being attacked? attacked. Yeah. Um, and then I'm thinking, who mm. picks up the pieces after yeah. all of this? Like where does you do you get a therapist? Like his mental health right oh. now, even if he is an asshole, his mental health must be really crushed. Very much Everybody so. is mental very, health. Really. Very much so. Um, and you actually see at the end where um he gets up and goes and sheena gives andy a good as gold album a gold <laughs> vinyl so sheena's a singer okay and so she's got this song that is a huge yeah. it's a huge it's hit. on her podcast on it the beginning is, of every is, of her it podcast. is it's her signature it's her signature song um and she gave a gold edition of this vinyl and, and mm-hmm. tom got up and then she's like oh by the way and he's like oh Oh, and she's like, no, you can go. Like she, she was like, I'm, I'm done, done. with you. Um, yeah. Because he actually said that he, he lied. So sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no, that's he actually lies and said. Well, we don't know if he's lying, but anyway, he, he says that he heard her say that she punched Raquel. Um, um, yeah, I don't know. But then had a very long pause yeah. beforehand. It's like I don't want to ruin my relationship with Sheena, but I want to tell the truth. And that's everyone's like, what's the truth? Since when yes. you want to <laughs> And Ariana's like, you weren't on the phone because that was when I was on the phone. You weren't on speakerphone at that stage. So they came for him for, for lying on that. So yeah. then he's come, like, so she's, Sheena pretty much was done. She's yeah. like, no, you wow. just. Because Sheena said as well in the past, like, I'm always the person to put the group back together. Yeah. Whenever a new season starts, I'm always the one to go, okay, let's go, you know, everybody come back. Well, she's the reason for that spin-off. Yeah, so is she? Sheena had, so Sheena's, Long-time cast member, 
But she had an affair. She was the mistress of Eddie Cyprian, oh, who was married to Brandy Glanville. Brandy Glanville. Who was one of the Real Housewives. That's right. right. I, yes. And Sheena worked for Lisa. Oh, my god! So she was one of the bar girls. So left that yes. And so this then they started looking at the bar and – then you had all these other interactions and it was because that whole season was Stasi coming for Sheena as the mistress and mm-hmm. like, oh, you're a mistress, you're a mistress, even oh though it yeah, yeah. was this is full a few, few years before. And so Most of those girls have had their time being a mistress. Well, well, that's it, that's it. So <laughs> you had all of this going on and so Sheena is, you know, she's married now. She's got a, a gorgeous little daughter with her husband uh, and she's given this and she's just basically said to Tom, you can see yeah. you can go. And then Tom's outside and he's like, this doesn't look good. Like, oh, he actually no, admits no, right. this, this doesn't look good and he's like very flustered um, and that's prior to Raquel coming and. In. I just I just get like I feel like I start to feel sorry for people after a while. That's my problem. But anyway, with the Raquel Rachel thing, did all the girls just band together and go from now on we're gonna call her Rachel? I think it actually after this from other people. Oh, I, think really? it, I think it was paying from fans. Because I've listened to Ariana on other podcasts and she just says, Yeah, Rachel did this and Rachel did that and I'm like, is this a secret that I don't well, know about? Lala's real name's Lauren. Mm. I did not know yeah, that. So Lala's real name is Lauren. Oh. Um, she actually does still get called Lauren, but she said she was given the name Lala from her friends in school. Oh, my and goodness. And her brother, I think, because her brother couldn't say her name. Oh. And so she's just kind of always run with that. She's like, I don't care whether you call me Lauren mm. or it's Lala. Like, nice I don't, don't care, right? Oh, wow. So um, with Raquel... Some at the time that this scandal was like on TMZ and it had started to mm-hmm. kind of get bigger, and then James had said it had been actually happened seven months whilst Ariana was upstairs, they were sleeping in oh the bedroom my. downstairs. Like it just oh, all of this was just unraveling. Someone who had gone to school with Raquel found her in their high school reunion book, yeah, and then put that on TikTok and went, Her name's Rachel. And then after that, everyone just started calling her Rachel. And it wouldn't surprise me if the girls and the cast kind of picked up on that and yeah. went, Oh, well, Let's they're calling with her Rachel now, yeah, let's use it. The cast have used this to their advantage. I will absolutely, I will, hands down, you'd be stupid to say they haven't. Ariana's capitalising really. Um, Lala's well. got merchandise oh, uh, and her own beauty lip yeah. products. And well, yeah. so Lala's beauty products have been around for a while. For a while, yeah. Um, so she had, uh, so she had done a collab with. Raquel on her makeup oh, line right. called Bambi Eyed Bitch because that's oh. when she was having wars with, with Raquel. her. Yep. Uh, she oh my goodness. capitalized, she capitalized off, on that phrase. That, and so then yeah. they went in on a makeup collaboration. She she called it Bambi, Bambi Eyed Bitch. And bitch. Raquel oh. posed for it and everything. Like yeah. as soon they as the scandal about. hit, she put it on clearance for ten dollars. Oh. <laughs> She's still making oh, money off of that. <laughs> she's, like, she's like, guys, and she came on after it sold out and she goes, I'm really glad you guys bought that because I really did not want to have to lose money for this. It's for this too. <laughs> so she started, so but then Raquel started sending all these cease and desist letters to them, and but oh. it was via a personal email and it was all very non-legal. Yeah. And so that's when Lala started doing this, like she did a TikTok and she's like, I don't have time for this. I have a baby. Yeah. <laughs> she's like literally like, no, it was Instagram. Um, and she's like, I have a baby. And she's like, send it to Daryl. So <laughs> Daryl really her lawyer. Two days later, there's jumpers saying send it to Daryl. And people have been buying this. Right. And, like, people are actually using the catchphrase send it to That's Daryl. amazing. Okay. So I she's think. capitalized on it. You've got the girls, like, Ariana is. They they're doing Uber Eats commercials in the US. Oh my gosh. Um she just did uh she's doing all these interviews. She was on wow. the Call Her Daddy podcast. Yeah. Uh she's um 
She did a revenge dress edit for Bloomingdale's. Oh, my wow. goodness. She's just capitalised. I think if you it. can capitalise on it. Why not? Why not? Because you know what? With a bad situation probably comes lots of therapy bills, mm. lots of everything. Yeah. You know, who's well, going to pay? For James. So James is a DJ mm-hmm. and he's doing very well. He changed the lyrics to that boys are liar, that boys are liar. Yep. Boys yep. are liar. <laughs> boys are liar. And people are asking for a remix. He performs it at every single <laughs> DJ set that he does, and people are loving it. it up. They want it released. James it. Can Kennedy it. was my favourite when he said, "You're a worm with a moustache." <laughs> <laughs> that, that should be on a t-shirt. I will wear it. He's just his take on things. Yeah. Like even to the point, he hasn't done the poo poo head. Yeah, the poo. Yet. You're a poo poo head. <laughs> like, yeah, literally. Like Ariana's like, "You're um." Uh, you're this, you're you're this, you're this, like, you know, some really, like, words that Bull. cut, right? Mm-hmm. And then this one pipes up, you're a poo-poo. Oh, my goodness. And then people oh like, my goodness. <laughs> like but even when he kept getting up off his seat and, like, like coming for, yeah, for, I know. for Tom, um, they were like, if you don't sit in your seat, you're going to be watching this from the Look, green room. Like and he's like, oh, you're putting me in the time. <laughs> you're putting me in the corner. I've been a bad Oh he, no, he makes me laugh. I I hated James. Like yeah, James, I, used to James hate I despise him. because he was young. He was arrogant. He he drinks a yeah. lot to the point that he oh. does. But does he, he gets blackout anymore? Drunk. He Still? no. I think she Ali stopped. is a good. Yeah, I think she's good she's for lovely. him. She just puts him in his place. She's so lovely. She yeah. hardly fits into that group. <laughs> she doesn't, and I think that's why it works really well. Yeah. And why they all really love her. Like you yeah. can see the admiration. She's so for mature her, for her done. age. When people aren't talking or when they start fighting, she just excuses herself quietly mm. and leaves the table. Like she wasn't that at twenty one. Well. Yeah. yeah. So she's an astrologer. She's right. Like, yeah. She's oh, she's amazing. picked out for like most of the year. Now. Right, That's fantastic. Okay, yeah. that is so, so good. But she and she's just such a calming. And yeah, every time he lovely. acts up, she walks away. Right. Yeah. So right. this is James' Don't new give it girlfriend energy. after right the end after the, Raquel. Raquel. Yeah, he made yep. a good choice. <laughs> He's done well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, what kind of spin-offs do you think we might be looking forward to? Maybe. Mm. There, I well, look, actually, there was, yeah, my mind's spinning. Yeah, I was just actually, say, I wanted to ask one more question there was before a rumor, that. One. A rumor on Tom Tom or oh. Schwartz and Sandy's having a spin off. Yeah, because do you think but they're I not going to want to film? They're not going to do anything now whilst people are absolutely so highly is there enough, emotional. Is there enough that um, content? To do I'll oh, follow suit of out. Vanderpump rules, but then I think something about her might. But then also, yeah. I'm like, is it going to be boring? Because mm. remember, season seven, eight, and nine were actually pretty the quite boring. boring. And right. people reckon Once, it was coming down if yeah. it wasn't for this big this scandal. Thing's real, so this used to be the number one um, reality show mm. on Bravo, mm. uh, and then yeah, one Stacey Jacks. Kirsten, yeah. the kind of real, um, what's the word I'm looking yeah, for? Yeah, the like main. instigators mm. of yeah. a lot of the drama had kind of fizzled out a bit. Um, it just wasn't picking up. So, I mean, they added new cast members and that was Because oh, okay. Charlie. Charlie Burnett I oh. really like because she was the one who called Raquel out the first time. Right. Um, have a listen. If you haven't yeah. listened to her on Nick Viles' podcast, okay. Highly recommend. Um, mm-hmm. So Charlie's a, um, a cast member that's come in in the last couple of seasons. She's kind of almost like a friend of Vanderpump. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's not getting a lot of airtime. Yeah, yeah. But she puts people in their place and she tells it like it is. Mm-hmm. So if – and she's always very real but she's very right about mm-hmm. it. So mm-hmm. she was saying that she cut off Raquel when she started yeah. acting really weird and the hot tub situation where Ooh. she was like, oh, I was late to the tasting. She was like, you're acting weird. I don't have time for you. Um, called her a few – yeah. choice words and she was like I wasn't Done. friends with her but when she had made out with Tom Schwartz and Raquel was telling her this she's like do you really think that was a smart thing to do like this is someone's ex-husband of 11 years like wow. a 11 year relationship wow. like 
clearly yeah. that there's there's a lot they're navigating through and then you're coming along and all she's asked is just not within the friend group. Mm. Like mm. he can make out with whoever else, yeah. but yeah. just not within not a the big friend ask. group. And she's like, and you're pursuing that? Like that's mm. not cool. Like, and she actually did call out and I feel like she doesn't get as much credit time because of that like she's not going to bring the drama but she's going to be that yeah. voice of reason and she's the youngest cast member too right. So. Oh, right and um just to end it off do you think that maybe ariana um lala katie do you think they might do their own spin-off and away from lisa vanderpump or do you think contractually mm. they're still I think, I think they're quite still indebted to lisa i don't Hopes. think they go off and do their own i actually think Jax, Brittany, Stacey, Bo, oh. they would be more inclined to yeah. do the spin-offs. Okay. Um, so those OG cast members mm-hmm. yeah. would be more inclined to actually do something so, yeah. as opposed to it being the current cast members. Okay. Because so, well. the next season would be 12, wouldn't 11. it? 11. Yeah. Um, and it's going to depend on who gonna, signs. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's right, who signs. Because you would have Tom, the two Toms. Yeah. So if they Jackson don't and sign, Brittany are coming back, I think. If that's they, a rumor, a rumor, but they I'm said sure. they're willing to come um, back. I'm, yeah, they, of I course, think. Jackson. Yeah, of course, to come back. He doesn't want <laughs> he, and he to be said the number he one guy. Yeah, he said he didn't want to come back before because he's got a child now and he wanted to be a good example and he mm. thinks he's got his life together now mm. and he could mm. come back. He's ready. He's ready. He's so, ready. He's yeah, ready. I think he's just ready to like bring everyone back in line and be yeah, be the time. daddy of the group. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, because they're all still heavily intertwined with it, yeah, all. And, that's and right. they took Jackson and so Brittany's Jax's wife, who came yep. into the show for yep. a little bit. Um, they were then watching episodes and feel like kind of like Gogglebox. Okay, so watching the episodes yeah. and, and their reaction to what was happening was and that was on their own podcast, their own podcast, and Peacock yeah. was showing it as well. Right. Hey, hey, you didn't show it here, but Peacock in the US was showing it. Ooh, okay. Um, so they're watching and their reactions to the episodes mm. and wow. the George was dropping because they know wow. the people, yes, yes. As well. yeah. uh, but I think. This scandal was just so jaw dropping. You had everyone from uh, like iconic Molly Shannon from Saturday Night Live came on Watch What Happens Live to discuss it. Um, David Spade does commentary on TikTok, he watches episodes and gives commentary. Well, you send me those, yeah. He it's hilarious because he thinks they're all a bunch of yeah, yeah. So he's talking about it. Michael Rappaport is talking, yeah, yeah. Like he yeah, gets in of it. Uh, not Tracy. Kristen no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Kristen Chenoweth. J-Lo. J-Lo no. was discussing it. So she's talked about it in a – That's crazy. The, a, a, an interview or something. And people – Are invested. So invested. Yeah. So yeah, invested. It's, it's wild. And even um, Ariana said she goes, Kristen Chenoweth is like one of my idols. It's and she now – Like she knows I exist. Like, <laughs> So it's, it's phenomenal. But as Ariana said, these guys live in LA. They've worked yes. at the bars yeah. that so many people in go, LA go, go to. to. Yeah. So it's that community. And she, she said Raquel will never be able to get a job in LA right. again unless right. she's there's some sort of damage That's control. So but bad. I don't know. I, I yeah. think she's going to throw Tom under the bus. Right yeah. Now. And that's like. To try and score just a few it, points. I honestly think we're going to expect some sort of tell all. Okay. Yeah. That's going to come out. Yeah. I don't know who's going to do it. I don't know where it's going to come from, mm. but I really. It's not the feel two of you are going over. There, right yeah. to I know. LA, here we come. I know. Um, there will Reporting be some sort well. of multi million dollar. It can't, can't just end there. there. If there's this no. much drama now, yeah. it can't but, end. Do I don't it. think I've ever seen. A backlash, yeah, or this a, big, this big for it's any like of that. Even Jen Shah, like going to jail. Teresa Judice, yeah, going to jail. I know that didn't even they get scandalous, yeah. but not, yeah. to, okay. not, not it to was, this extent. Yeah, exactly. So, Tracy, do you feel like now that you are, you know, all up to speed I mean, with it all? I think I'm going to have to start. Yeah, 
There and is they, actually, if you go to Peacock's <laughs> uh, Instagram page, yeah, yeah. they've done a breakdown of the episodes, so you don't have to watch all ten seasons. There you oh, go. You can watch wow. select there episodes you go. that take That's you your speed. To, there I am. <laughs> I think it's about twenty episodes, so it's like one season. Okay, well. Well, that's quite that's least, doable. That's doable. These are the episodes, like, and you can get them all on on full page speed as well. So. So good, you can look wow. into that. Well, thank you so much thank for being you. a guest. <laughs> and I feel like we're going to see you again and speak to you again with okay. another, another fantastic <laughs> yes. show. I'm happy to Loved come it. along yeah. and, and uh, share my, my knowledge and my TikTok and That's podcast. So so thank you so much. Send me all the links. And <laughs> <laughs> I will. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Yay. Yay.